Okay, so this is a data sufficiency question, uh, a difficult data sufficiency question from one of the uh, GMAT prep tests. So let's take a look at it here. Uh, they give us this semicircle uh, with uh, a couple radii uh, forming a triangle, several triangles, obviously three triangles here. We've got this point A outside of the semicircle. Uh, they tell us that O is the center of the circle. Uh, they tell us that AB is equal to OC, which you'll see I've indicated. I also indicated uh, that BO is equal to those other two sides because obviously all radii of circles are equal. Uh, and the question that's being asked is what the uh, measure of angle BAO is. So this leftmost angle here is the angle that they're asking for. Uh, all right, so in order to get this right, you have to know the exterior angle theorem. Uh, which is that the outside angle of a triangle, it's not actually within the triangle, it's outside of the triangle if you extend one of the legs of the triangle, is going to be equal to the uh, two angles of that triangle that it doesn't form a line with. So I've given some examples here. So for example, uh, angle OBC, so this angle right here, right, is equal to this angle BAO plus this angle BOA, right? This angle is equal to this angle plus this angle. And then I have angle COD, this angle here, right, is equal to angle BCO up here plus angle BAO over here. Uh, this is a pretty esoteric uh, theorem. Uh, so if you don't know it, try to commit it to memory. It does come into play every now and then. All right, so uh, our first condition here is that angle COD is equal to 60. So you see I put that here. Uh, you know, initially it doesn't seem like a whole lot of information, but uh, because of all this interplay between the angles, uh, you'll see that it actually is sufficient. So let's check it out here. So first of all, we uh, pull out our exterior angle theorem, which tells us that COD is equal to BCO plus angle BAO. Uh, we can then plug in 60 for angle COD. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to substitute for angle BCO, angle CBO, since we know that they're congruent. <laughs> Uh, since the sides are equal, we know that the opposite angles are equal. So we can substitute CBO. Now strategically, the reason why we're doing that is because CBO is more relevant to the angle that we're solving for. Right? So we substitute, first of all, CBO for BCO. Right? Uh, and then the second step is realizing that angle CBO by the exterior angle theorem is equal to angle BAO plus angle um, BOA. Right? Um, and so what we can do is we can substitute for angle CBO 2 times angle BAO. And the reason why we can do that is because we know these angles are equal. So instead of just saying this angle plus this angle, we can just say 2 times this angle. Of course, you want to keep this angle BAO in our calculations because that's what we're solving for. right? Uh, and you'll see over here I put some extra work. Uh, so 60 is equal to 2 times angle BAO plus angle BAO. Now we've got it down to one variable, so we can solve. 60 equals 3 times angle BAO, so angle BAO is 20. Sufficient. Cross off B, C, and E. Uh, and obviously mark A, and uh, now we're going to try number 2. Uh, number 2 tells us that angle BCO is equal to 40 degrees. Uh, well, if that's true, then this other angle, uh, CBO, is also 40 degrees uh, because of the isosceles triangle that's formed, equal angles, equal sides. And then we know that this 40 degrees, by the exterior angle theorem, is equal to this angle plus this angle. Since these two angles are equal, we can say that 2 times angle BAO is equal to 40 degrees, and so BAO is equal to 20. And one final note here, uh, it does turn out, you know, when we calculate, um, when we calculate it all, it does turn out uh, that this uh, appears to be a straight line, but we can't necessarily assume that. It does look like a straight line, but because they indicate point B, it is possible uh, that this could not be a straight line. So we can't, even though uh, some people might say, well, this is 40, so this is 140. You can't net really do that. You have to first solve that these are 20 and 20, and then from that you can conclude that this top angle is 140. Uh, so since they both work individually, obviously the answer is D.